To an exclusive look inside the facility in Indiana that's working around the clock to produce Moderna's COVID vaccine with the 200 millionth dose expected to roll out soon. And we hear from the workers there on the importance of their efforts and the direct impact that it's having on Americans, including their own families. Ariel Reshev has the story in this week's Vaccine Watch. It's a major milestone in the race to vaccinate. Drug maker Moderna is on the cusp of delivering its 200 millionth vaccine dose and perhaps not a moment too soon. What was your thought when you first got the vaccine? I just felt I'm safe now. Those final vaccines housed here at Catalan, one of the world's largest biopharmaceutical manufacturers. This factory running 24 seven to churn out supply. There's about a million square feet of, of production area under the roof here in Catalan, Bloomington. That's the equivalent of the area of about 21 football fields. We got an exclusive look inside Catalan's Indiana facility where that 200 millionth dose awaits its final quality control procedures before being shipped out for use. We will continue to manufacture their vaccine into the coming years and we'll be manufacturing boosters as needed. Since the pandemic started, Catalan has hired hundreds of workers, doubling its staff to 3,000. I would tell my team like, you know, hey, we're, we're, we're trying to save the world. Catalan says it has invested more than $120 million to grow the Bloomington facility. And for many workers there, the mission over the last year has been personal. It was really exciting to see that what we were doing here was actually impacting lives of family members that I currently have. And I know that's not just my family, other families are doing the same. It's hit especially close to home for project manager Tierra May. The vaccine that my grandma received came from our facility. Tierra and her grandmother are members of the Cherokee Nation. The Native American community has been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic and has also faced vaccine skepticism. Being able to encourage my family to say that this is a good thing and that this is for us was incredible because we lost a lot of people um, during the pandemic. Tierra has spent the better part of a year helping to manufacture the COVID vaccine. We were putting out something that was going directly to my grandma, and not only that, but it was preserving our heritage and preserving our identity. Tierra's grandmother, Reba Rogers, was one of the first in her community to get vaccinated. What did it mean to you to get a shot from the same facility where your granddaughter works? Oh, I'm proud of her. When we were sitting here talking, she told me all about it. Just so proud. Working and having a hand in something that was going to protect people from this and helping produce a vaccine, it just almost felt like the, the heaviness and the hardships of our jobs from day to day, all of a sudden it was kind of worth it and it didn't feel like it was as bad. The process that goes into manufacturing a vaccine like Moderna's is complicated. Step one, come up with ingredients. We take live cells that have been engineered to produce a certain antibody. And we grow those cells uh, by feeding them the right nutrients and keeping them at the right conditions in very large fermentation tanks called bioreactors. The second step is to fill the vials. This is one of our vial filling lines. Filling needles dip into the vials and fill them up with the appropriate fill volume of drug product. This machine is designed to fill up to 400 vials per minute. Step three, the inspection process. We visually inspect the vials that we manufacture. This equipment does its job and it either rejects units because they fail to meet criteria or it passes units through, which then go on to our labeling and packaging process. Step four, adding labels. So the vials come into the room uh, with nothing on them. We call them nude vials and we apply a label. Uh, that's part of the automated equipment that was uh, that you saw. And then the Dividella assembles cardboard cartons and places those labeled vials into the cartons, 10 per carton. The final step, keeping this mRNA vaccine at its necessary subarctic temperatures. This freezer farm is a reflection of the growth that we've had to do to keep up with the capacity. These freezer farms keep those vials at around negative 40 degrees. This marked a new endeavor for Brandon Williams and his packaging team. Every vaccine counts because each one, of course, represents someone who is safe from the virus. So each time we were bringing 
boxes downstairs, it was like, we knew how many more people were gonna be able to survive this pandemic. Vaccines not just saving lives, but perhaps an entire culture. Reba, one of the last Cherokee language speakers in her community. How important to you is preserving your heritage? Oh, it's important. I mean, we can't lose our language. This is Ariel Reshev tracking the vaccine. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.